Yep, I did it. So snapshots have brought us a very interesting block, the chisel bookshelf. I thought of an idea in the last video where we could hide a combination lock to open a secret door. Now, let's imagine we come to the corner of our library and we want to open a secret door. So we take a book and we identify the hidden bookshelves that make up our combination lock. So we introduce the combination and of course I didn't obviously put it on display for everybody to see. So this is 4, this is 2, we place 3, and this is 4 again. And that's how we uncover our secret passage. Welcome to a new video of Big Brother 161, and today we are going to see how to build a combination block to uncover a hidden door. And at the end we are going to see the tutorial. Let's begin. On the previous video we saw the circuit, where we explained the properties of the comparator. This is an 8 position selector. In this circuit, if we place an item on an item frame, and we continue to rotate it to the new positions, we can see that the out signals of the circuit are going to change, from position 1 to 8. And from position 8, it returns to position 1. Now, instead of an item and an item frame, we're going to modify the circuit to make it work for a chisel bookshelf, which is the circuit we are seeing here. This is the aerial view. You can see the previous circuit had us 8 positions, and this one has 6, corresponding to the 6 positions of the chisel bookshelf. And in this place, instead of having a redstone torch, we have a small tail entity, and we calibrate the items inside a hopper in order to have a power of 11 in the outside of this comparator. And this is the way where we calibrate how many items are inside a hopper. And in fact, in this fourth position, we only need 37 items. Just remember, this last comparator has to be in subtract mode. So, depending on what is the last interaction with the bookshelf, let's place this on position 1. Now position 2. 3. Position 4. Position 5. Let's take the book for position 6. We can take book 3. And this is the position 3. For example, we have this small circuit that is hidden behind the library. And instead of redstone torches, that this gives a contrary signal, we can place a redstone repeater on the position we want. For example, position 3. Here we have the lock where we can take any of the six positions. We take the third book, and that's the way the door opens. Any other position we interact with is going to keep the door closed. Only the third position is going to open it. But this lock only allows us for six combinations. So opening this secret door by accident is a really easy thing to do. What we can do is make a combination of various chisel bookshelves. You can see on the next table, using two bookshelves and combination allows us for 36 possible combinations. Three bookshelves make for 216. Four bookshelves, like in this case, allows us for 1296. And we continue on and on. For example, if we use 10 bookshelves, we have a total of 1,679,616 possible combinations. But in this case, I consider that 4 bookshelves is just enough. So here we have this circuit with 4 bookshelves, which is the same one I previously showed you. But in this case, instead of having these bookshelves for decoration, I've placed these block walls so you can see what the circuit looks behind. And here we have the correct combination to open the door, which you will obviously not show on display here. So memorize it or write it in a secret place. So let's use this password to open the door. 4, 2, 3, and 4. Here in the backside we can see, in the case of each bookshelf, we have a selector of 6 positions. The circuit I showed you earlier. We combine the output of these 4 circuits on this central line and take the signal up here and towards the door. And just for decoration, we can combine normal bookshelves with chisel bookshelves. For the un unexpert eye, this looks just like decoration. But our combination lock is hidden over here. We take this book, we place here, this one, and the fourth one. And that way we can access our hidden tunnel and look at our valuables. Okay, so now let's get to the tutorial. For our materials, we have the next. 
First we need 12 non sackable items and they may be cheap items because they are only necessary to fill up the hoppers. We have a few stacks of blocks, 5 haslaps, hoppers, other components of redstone, 4 bookshelves, 4 chisel bookshelves and some books. And of course remember to bring your building tools. For our building space you can see this resting glass representing the library. And our big space requires an 8x9x5 tall space. And for the door we need a volume of 6x2x5. By by so after having our space, we come here to the library side. Remember these are actually bookshelves and chisel bookshelves. One block from the corner. In the first and third level we're going to place chisel bookshelves. And three blocks apart to the same. On the other wall, one block of separation, we're going to cut out a 2x2 two two block section and come to the back side. And on the back wall, we're going to place sticky pistons on the following way. Now two sticky pistons here, and two bookshelves. On the other side, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Bookshelf, bookshelf. Now we come to the back side of the chisel bookshelf. We place three blocks like this. To the side, two blocks, and returning to the same direction, one block more. Now we place five more blocks in this direction. And this line also, and we connect it at the end. Now we place a comparator here, comparator across, and another one here. Now we fill up this line with redstone. In the final block, a hopper. And now we proceed to fill up this hopper in such a way that this piece of redstone reflects a power of 11. So now we place 3 non stackable items, and in the first slot, 37 stackable items. Here we have the power of 11, and we place this last comparator on subtract mode. Now, in a mirror effect, we're going to do the same thing on this bookshelf. We check this piece is on power 11, and we pass the comparator on subtract mode. And now we're going to do exactly the same thing for these top chisel bookshelves. And now the top circuits look like this, exactly the same as the bottom ones. Now let's go to connect these four circuits. So we draw a central line of blocks here. Now let's place some redstone, with the exception of this block where we're going to place a repeater. And now we place three half laps in zigzag like this. Then let's cover it with redstone wire where we can take the signal to the upper part. So we bring the signal here, and with full blocks we're going to place them just above these sticky pistons here, making this figure. We place a block here, and connect this redstone. In these two blocks we're going to place repeaters, and place them on the second position. Now a few redstone more. And for the last part we're going to take a block and place it here, so these two redstone points don't connect. Now for the last part we're going to configure. We come here to the front and let's choose our combination. For example I'm going to choose 5, 4, 3 and 5. And we're going to the back part to connect finally the circuits. Depending on what combination we chose, we're going to see that one of these positions of each circuit is not going to be lit up. The power is zero. This is exactly the block where we are going to take power from, placing these repeaters. And we're going to do the same from the top, place a half slab, a repeater, 
and then a block in front. So we can fill up this central line, and we're going to see that the central line does not lit up. Now let's place here a half slab, a repeater, and a block also. And we're going to see that the central line again is not powered. This means that we connect them correctly. Now let's remember that the combination is perfectly placed. And any change on any of the bookshelves is going to make this door to close again. Like that. So now let's fill up a few more positions in order for the decoration to make this effect. And that way, in order to verify our circuit, we're going to enter the combination 5, 4, 3, 5, and ready. So this is my way to make a secret combination for a secret door. Thank you for watching this video, this has been BigBrother161, and remember, I will be watching.